This is how and why your INR can rise after a hepatectomy. After a hepatectomy, your INR begins to rise on post-op day zero. You'll reach a peak INR sometime between post-op days two and three, and your peak INR is typically no greater than 2.0. Your INR will return to baseline sometime between post-op days five and seven. The underlying mechanism is as follows. When you're removing part of the liver, you're removing part of your liver's ability to synthesize coagulation factors. And it takes a few days. It takes time for the remaining liver to gradually compensate for the removed portion. Interestingly, if you were to do a TEG or a thromboelastography, it may show an initial hypercoagulable state until the liver is able to regenerate and compensate for the removed portion. One big clinical implication is what to do with an epidural catheter during this period. An epidural catheter removal should only be done when the INR is less than 1.5, um, and this is typically on post-op days 3 to 5. In the meantime, you should consider alternate pain management for patient-controlled anesthesia as a good example. There's a potential for rare coagulation-related complications from the epidural, and you don't want to take a chance. Takeaway, despite elevated INR, the liver quickly adapts with coagulation parameters normalizing within a week or so after hepatectomy.